Oh, it's been a long time preparing this video. Um, occasionally I'll look down. I'm not like a professional, you know, actor or anything or someone that's, you know, consistently on camera. So sometimes like if I don't look at the camera, it's just, you know, instinct, you know, kind of looking down. But, um, oh, I forgot. Oh yeah. Transform. Yeah. Thumbnail. <laughs> All right, got it. Okay, I just had to do that. Um, I wanted to make sure I was uh, consistent with my first two videos. Um, <laughs> so, man, flashback. I'll try to make this video quick, or you know, this part of the video will be quick. Um, the rest of the part of the video, I'll be kind of just discussing you know, different pieces of my designs or artwork or um, just people that I've worked with or, you know, worked for um, different projects I've worked on throughout the years. Um, you know, t I'll try not to say um as much, but that's what we do when we're trying to like think of our next sentence instead of like talking too fast and fumbling. So if you hear um, just try to premeditate my next sentence. But let me see here. Let me flash back about 2017 um you know of course i'm jumping to 2017 i'm not going to go through um you know my career my history yet you know that'll be in a different part of this video but i wanted to flash back to 2017 when you know i was working at a company for uh, i think 15 and a half years it was going on 16 years so as far as like um you know calendar years it was roughly roughly 16 years or going on 16 years short of a quarter uh you know but um and of course that same year <laughs> i remember doing very <laughs> something <laughs> it's so funny like how history repeats itself i was doing something very very similar to what i'm doing now um where um you know kind of sitting around where i'm comfortable enough where i'm at in life or my career where i can kind of like take a break or you know kind of like uh, you know really put some thought into where I work you know it, it's not just where someone kind of just you know works for anyone or take accept any job you know some people do that because it's probably about the money and not, nothing's wrong with that you know not judging anyone I may do that one day I've probably done it somewhere in my career I just note that 2017 that's when a lot of our marketing department started migrating you know we got bought out I'm starting to hear critters run around out here but I'm, as long as it's not a bear if a bear gets behind me call me on my cell phone out in this recording but you know 2017 I kind of sat around and just started like preparing my portfolio it was funny I was actually going through some of the things where I'm like this was not in my portfolio when I was in college so why do I have it matted and I think it was because <laughs> there's this little, this little rabbit chewing on the ladder. Get back! Go! Go! Get out! This rabbit's chewing on my neighbor's <laughs> deck lattice. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it was like a baby rabbit. I saw it about springtime. It was like a baby rabbit it actually came up to me here on the porch. And I was like throwing little fruits and things out at it. It's funny, like seeing how this little juvenile rabbit has like grown over the summer. It's kind of big now. So like every morning when I come out of my room and look over my balcony, I see how big this rabbit has gotten. But, you know, like I said, 2017, that's when we, we were purchased by another company. Um, we were previously, you know, owned by Fortune Brands, which is a major billion dollar company. And you know, they had purchased um, SBR Simonton. So like going through another uh, <laughs> buyout, I already know how the hatchet goes. And I had survived for a while. Uh, I had worked there um, after the purchase for a, a lot longer than just like instantaneously. They started like, you know, uh, removing responsibilities or jobs, but they started migrating to North Carolina. I didn't want to go. That's in my other video. And what I'm going to do is actually edit all three of these videos together so that it's kind of like individual videos, but then one full video. 
and with the goal of just trying to get a long extended video on YouTube so that I can like increase playing hours and um, you know what or video or uh, what, what do they call it view time or watch time you know I, I feel like I put out so much content just for my family just playing around that I might as well get paid for it but you know everyone was migrating towards North Carolina at that time since we had kind of like for a couple years had relocated to Columbus Ohio I was not really willing I don't want to say I wasn't in the position because I've I mean I've had money since I could even buy cigarettes um, so um, it's the word for the day <laughs> but uh, you know we were I really didn't want to pay money for plane tickets and leave my family here I think at the time we had travel from Marietta so we maybe have only had one vehicle up here at the time and left our other vehicle in the garage in Marietta Ohio and and I just you know purchasing plane tickets to just kind of go down there to North Carolina uh, for a meeting I just really couldn't you know do that I thought you know what I'd rather just kind of work every day get work done you know um, save time from traveling save time from booking flights uh, you know, just diff different stuff like that. So, I think about August of 2017, that's when we already knew what was happening months before that, um, August of 2017. we The marketing department had already kind of saw the migration, how they were kind of hiring people down there. And real quick commercial break, a, a designer that they hired had contacted me because I was very nice. I wasn't kind of like, oh, these are our replacements I have no respect for these people or I'm not going to help them or assist them. That's not me. Business is business. So I remember assisting their designer and I remember looking at their portfolio or something on like a, a deviant art. And I'm like, man, this is nice. And it showed their name listed with other names. But when someone posts something like that, it's, it's easy to quickly assume that they did all the work. You know, just from the background that I had come from, we had to do all the work. When we were in, you know, at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, we had to be out, be the copywriter, you know, be the layout designer. We had to be the production. Um, we had to be pre-pressed. We had to take it to production. Um, we had to actually present it. So we were everything. So when I saw someone post some work, I just kind of quickly assumed that they had done it. Now, you know, closing off this commercial break, <laughs> the person had contacted me after I had submitted, had given them some files to work with. And they said, Akima, this looks good, but there's white boxes around some of these product images. And, and that's when I realized that, okay, your skills, your skills have literally surpassed the entry level, you know, artists or, you know, marketing per designer, whatever you want to call it. So I thought a white box, that's just a raw image. And what you need to do is go through your file and apply the clipping path, which cuts the white box out. But, you know, kind of receiving an amateur, you know, inquiry like that, I was just kind of shocked and blown away. So I realized that a quality person is maybe, it's probably not what they need right now at this step, you know, in their business, you know, um, some some companies that's all they deal with is quality you know i just couldn't imagine some california or new york or miami or texas you know some dallas texas um you know or houston you know or any other part of texas but i can't imagine some major city having you know marketing and utilizing people who just don't understand certain aspects of the software or you know just what's going on um, so I was a little bit shocked. I continued to do my job. When they shut us down, um, commercial break over. Uh, when they slowly shut us down, you know, from my last video, you remember seeing me say that I got a decent severance and I was happy with it. The people weren't like, you're fired. Or they weren't like, um, we're shutting the, the doors. It, it was super professional. You know, the CFO was there. Or the, um, sorry, he wasn't the CFO. What was he the CFO? He was either the CFO or, um, like, the president of finance. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, Mike. 
and HR was there. It was several people there, and they were all kind. It was a it was a decent meeting, and they could see that I wasn't upset. I mean, after working for almost 16 years, you know, and I, and I got a decent a decent check. So sitting around for a month on the couch, knowing that my skills will, you know, prevail and get me to you know my next place, I wasn't really worried. And uh, drinking beers on my recliner watching movies while Brittany was working, I ended up, you know, having a few contacts. I wasn't really even trying to get a, you know, uh, another job right away. I was actually shooting YouTube videos, a funny one with the Pelican, um, where <laughs> the, you know, we had some water seeping in there, blew our dryer out. And so I had to dry my clothes outside. So I was just like improv and did a YouTube video then. So that, that was pretty funny. But <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. So a little bit after that, I think I had gotten a phone call. It, the funny part about the phone call was us being in Columbus, Ohio, and me being from Michigan. The the uh, general manager called me out of nowhere. I'm like, you know, on the couch, probably three beers in me, I'm like <laughs> and trying to sound super professional. Like, hello, <laughs> you know. It, it was just funny because, you know, they wanted me to come in for an interview, and uh, I'll never forget that being in Columbus, Ohio, I never encountered anything like this. But the the GM ended the phone call with "Go Buckeyes," and um, I was like, <laughs> I, like I had to think and improv right away because I'm from Michigan. Like I I just can't be fake. I have to be real with the things that I do I have to be real uh, <laughs> and so I'm like when in Rome I had to like quickly think of some sort of some sort of um you know just a catchphrase that could not be fake but say you know I wasn't gonna say I'm not an Ohio State fan and then not get the job so basically when in Rome if you don't know when in Rome do as the Romans <laughs> so it was just a vague response before he, we got off the phone and then, of course, you know, I think, let's see here, a year later, I did another video. And that's the one where I'm walking back and forth, and you know, on the side of the office and just kind of uh, going over, you know, hey, it's been a year later, and this is what I'm doing. You know, I like to, I like to let people who aren't close, you know, some people who may not be like within the vicinity where we can talk in person, I kind of like to make sure that they're informed and they're up to date with some of the stuff that you know I'm doing and you know uh, so I think a little bit after that I, how it's been so that was 2017 so it's been six years six roughly yeah, almost seven years so that's I'm gonna try to title this hmm, let me see I'm just gonna say roughly seven I'm just gonna say seven years later because seven years from that initial layoff, you know, after working 15 and a half years, it's shocking. Some people, they don't know how to react or what to do. If you have a certain skill or if, if you, you have a certain confidence level, you know, uh, let's see where I got my, oh, here we go. Make sure I don't get parched. A little water and lemon. Might be something else in there. But, yeah, I, you know, the, the video was, was, was pretty interesting. I wanted to do like a year later, you know, update. I think in that video, I mentioned how I went from just being a, a designer because that was the thing that had gotten me over the years, you know, was a title. You know, I've, I've talked to people. There's times where I've kind of hit, butted heads at times with people because of that title. You know, once you work for like 15 and a half, um, to 16 years you're kind of like uh, you know I'm not this small title or this small person anymore I'm something bigger so that that can kind of play a part so the number one thing that I had negotiated when I had accepted my second job in my career was the manager title so since I was actually you know skilled enough to manage and I think I had at that time of my career I had uh, managed two designers and um, I'll just say kind of like one contract 
you know, person because the contract person had more skills than me and experience than me. But I was just kind of, you know, you know, managing the particular project. You know, I figured that if I accept a new job that's almost equivalent in pay to my current job, let me at least negotiate a title. You know, and the the title thing is the really the big major thing that I was pushing and that I've kind of pushed and really, really, really contributed to as far as like my time and knowledge and learning over the last, you know, years, uh, you know, it, it, it the, the title was kind of like, I'm looking for that title change. So some people may not want to have a title change. Maybe they just want all money, 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 money. But once you obtain, you know, some money, then you have to kind of go for other things. Sometimes a title would mean more control over some of the executables or the title could mean, you know, a future, you know, um, venturing off and creating your own business. And obviously I'll get to that. Uh, But the title was the most important thing. After one year working there, after one year of working there and kind of introducing my knowledge and, and, you know, I had worked, this company was way smaller than the company I was used to working with or, you know, working for. And the department was so much smaller. But after one year, I'm sure, like if you see me, I'm, as a matter of fact, coffee break, light some incense to keep these bugs off of me.